After placing your online uh, software download, you'll receive an email from from Siemens uh, product download. And in that email, you'll have two items that you're going to need to download the software. The first one is the dispatch note number. And towards the bottom of the email, that, that lists all the parts that software parts as you've ordered, there's also going to be a temporary password that you're going to need. So if you come in the email and you copy the temporary password, and then click on the link for the online software delivery. Paste the password into the password field. Switch back to the email and copy the dispatch note number. And paste it into the web page as well. You're also going to need to enter the uh, CAPTCHA numbers and letters that you see in the image. Six, eight, eight. and then log in. Once you log in, it's going to ask you to create a personal password for the download. The password must contain upper and lowercase letters as well as a, at least one number. And once you do, click OK. OK. And at this point in time, you need to acknowledge the email that you will receive from Siemens in order to log in for the very first time. When the Siemens web service sends out your temporary password, you have five days in order to log in with your dispatch note number and that temporary password. If you exceed that five days, you can always request a new password by clicking on the link down here at the bottom that says, um, password forgotten or expired, in which case you'll just receive a new email and need to come back to this page with the original dispatch note number and new password in the email. After you receive your confirmation of changing the temporary password email, follow the link inside the email to confirm the password that you've uh, created. You'll end up back at this page again with your dispatch note number, and you'll now have to log in using your new password that you created. And again, you're going to have to enter the access code. In order to continue on to the software delivery service, you must read and accept the export control clause by clicking on the blue link. So after you read the export control clause, you can then accept that clause. And you also need to confirm that the delivery address is identical with the recipient email address for online software delivery. Once those have been accepted, you can click OK. And you are now into the software download service. The Siemens Automation License Manager if it's not already installed on your PC, it can be found on the internet. Uh, the easy way to find that license manager is to do a Google search for Siemens Automation License Manager. Uh, you should see at the very top of the list a link to the support.automation.siemens website. 
entitled Automation License Manager or ALM. If you scroll down, you'll see a link to a zip file. In this case, the latest version is Automation License Manager version 5.3, Service Pack 2, Update 2. You want to download that file, unzip it on your machine, and install Automation License Manager. Okay, Kevin, let's go ahead and open up Automation License Manager and go from there and downloading our licenses. Once you open up Automation License Manager, you'll see a web license key download that you need to click on. And it's going to open up an embedded web browser in the Automation License Manager. In there, you're going to see the same screens we've seen before. Here, we need to add our dispatch note from the email. We need to type in the permanent password that we created. And we need to enter the access code again that's on the web page. And then click login. You then need to again um, agree to the export control clause. And confirm the delivery address is identical with the recipient's email address for online software delivery. Once you do that, you will again see all of the licenses that were part of this order by clicking on the License Key Download tab. So here I have five licenses available. If you scroll down through the tree, all the way down, you will see at the very bottom of the tree, you will see the license key for each of the products that you've purchased. At this point, you need to click on the icon, the little globe with the ribbon on it, and you need to drag that onto one of the drives on your PC. It's going to come up and confirm that you want to transfer the license from the automation uh, software download site to your drive. Once you do this, you cannot um, go back. The license is then gone from the website. And now the license is now on my machine. I'm now able to use license, Automation License Manager to move that license around to any drive on my PC as well to an external drive if I need to move it to another PC. In the event that you lose one of your licenses that you've downloaded, um, the license can be regenerated and reissued to you from the service center. Um, by supplying the serial number of the license. It's very important that you save the documentation, the certificate of license, that can be found on the site as well. To obtain that license, click back on the SUS download tab. Click on the serial number of the license as part of your order. Click on the document over here on the details. And download the certificate of license for each one of these licenses that are part of this order. That certificate is just a PDF file that you want to save.
this piece of information can be sent to the service center so that they can create new licenses in, in the event that you've lost one of the licenses from your machine. After you've downloaded all of your license keys and your certificate of licenses, you can click on the software download tab and start to download all of the software that was also a part of your order. So in order to do that, click on the software download tab over here in the details section and click on the little download icon you will need to download the, the installer that's going to download the software from the internet onto your PC You need to agree with the license agreement. Uh, after you've done this, you will then have the option of choosing where you would like to save that software. And now you just wait for the uh, software download to complete. 